Good morning guys, it's about 9.45 in the morning and I'm coming at you upstairs because one, I've already showered and shaved and I'm ready to start the day even though I do still feel pretty rough. But two, unfortunately, Duncan is home again with me today. He woke up, he did not have a fever, which is good, but he has gotten sick. He's vomited two or three times now, at least. And just to ensure it was not a cry for attention, I want to stay home and play video games and watch TV all day kind of thing, I said, look, if you're going to stay home, if you are really sick, you're going to stay at home and you're going to rest. You're going to lay in your bed, you're going to lay on the couch, and you're going to sleep the majority of the day. And he has done just that, so feel for the little guy. Like I said, I do still feel very rough myself. You may be able to... When I was editing the video last night, it was really hard to tell whenever I speak, but I can hear it myself. Like, I can barely hear anything because both my ears are completely clogged up, but I can hear the sort of nasally or lack of nasally, I guess, sound, because my nose is completely blocked up, even though nothing will come out. Everything is just right behind the nose or something, so it's blocked. I don't know. I can't do a thing about it. I'm taking all kinds of medications, my antibiotics and mucinex and other things to try to loosen things up and get things out and also clear up any infection that's in there. My throat is feeling significantly better, which is awesome because I had a lot of trouble swallowing for the last few days. But anyway, as I mentioned, it is 9.45. I've got a meeting in about 15 minutes that I haven't been to in a couple of days because of sickness, so I probably ought to get downstairs. Today I'm going to do my best to try to get on the treadmill and get as many steps as possible while I'm doing my work. Now unfortunately, I at some point lost my Fitbit, so I don't have any way to really keep track of those steps. I mean, my Pebble will do it, but it's not terribly accurate. I don't know, I'll have to figure something out or just use what's on the treadmill. It's got a little step counter on there. Maybe that'll work. Either way, time to get this day started. Well, that was a very useful, very productive two minutes. Uh, I did the morning meeting and everything, like I said. I've actually been walking here on the treadmill for the last 20 or 25 minutes, which is awesome. But I've been doing it without the Fitbit. So after the morning meeting wrapped up, I went into the kitchen to take the dog outside because, you know, got to do that about every hour. And while I was out there, I said, let me just take one more look in the car for my Fitbit because it's got to be in there, right? It's either that I dropped it on the floor in the garage, I dropped it in the couch, haven't found it in either of those places, or I dropped it when I was out and about somewhere probably in the car. So I looked around a little bit more and lo and behold, it was in the car. It was actually down in between the seats way far back where I could just barely see it. I had to like get down on my hands and knees and stick my head where my legs would normally be in the car. It was a really awkward situation, but it had fallen out of its little holster here. So I think what I'm going to start doing, normally I wear this facing outward. I've got it stuck to a pocket or something. I'm tempted to start wearing it inward where it's like facing toward my pocket. So the worst case scenario, it gets pulled out it pops into my pocket and I don't lose it because I've lost it several times now. Not even that it's 100% necessary, it's just so nice to have, to have that little bit of quantifiability, this is how I've done today kind of thing. Anyway, I do not have any videos done for today. I've been cleaning up stuff for my day job, but I've got to also work on some videos too because I've just gotten so far behind. This walking and getting a little exercise, in addition to helping clear my nose up a little bit, is getting me back in that motivated mindset. I've started cleaning up the office a little bit. I've started, again, editing video. Good times, good stuff. Well, UPS just delivered. Apparently I've been a, a busy boy. That's all for me. I have no idea what most of it, actually some of it I know is like the Amazon Echo and uh, the Philips bulbs, the Philips Hue bulbs, but other than that, I'm not sure. There's one from Best Buy, there's the other ones from Amazon, so I suppose we will see. Well, not entirely as exciting as I might have hoped. I just went ahead and did all the unboxing. You see we've got a couple of printer cartridges, we've got the Philips Hue starter kit, we've got the Echo Dot diapers, and a bunch of batteries. Best Buy was running a sale on these weird size batteries, so like 9 volts, C's, and D's, and Christmas is coming, so every toy is going to need something, and those are probably it. And hooray, we're all home, we're having some dinner. Taco Tuesday on a Thursday, on a Thursday? Yeah. Okay, days have run together for me now. I'm on two tacos. It's one of those days. And that little one's actually eating something. He hasn't been eating much lately, so. And that one, I'm sure he'll eat here in just a minute. <laughs> it says, now? We, eat, we can eat now? And you know what? Skipping right on ahead. It's almost 9 p.m. already. Uh, Christina has given Ellis a bath. Duncan had his bath and he's in bed now. He definitely seems to be feeling a lot better, which is great. I'm feeling better. I'm still not great. I sound pretty rough just because of that congestion that I can't seem to knock out. And my throat is better, but it's still not good. 
I keep coughing every time I try to blow my nose because it doesn't really matter. On to a sort of a tech-related subject, just to sort of wrap things up here. I saw all the stuff coming out earlier about Nintendo Switch. I've bought most of the Nintendo consoles that have come out over the years. In terms of like my adult life, we had the GameCube, we have the Wii and the Wii U, we've got the 2DS and the 3DS, we've had a couple of the handhelds, but the Switch is something entirely different. It's basically like a console mixed with a tablet, mixed with controllers and just sort of a, an all-in-one encompassing thing that might be able to blow a lot of other stuff out of the water. I saw Philly D made a video about this earlier. He talked a lot in his video today about it and addressed a lot of the concerns. I think a lot of, ugh, ugh, sorry about that. I got completely backed up and couldn't speak. But he addressed a lot of the concerns that I and I know a lot of other people have had. He didn't address them, but he just pointed them out. Things like, is the graphics quality going to change when you take it from TV mode to tablet mode? Is the battery life going to be good or bad? How long is the, the controller battery life going to last? Is the controller going to be charged by hooking it on the tablet, or is there going to be an external charger? So there's just a lot of questions to be answered, and I'm definitely looking forward to learning more about it, especially the price. Whatever the price is, we'll probably end up picking one up just because, yeah. Oh, and it sounds like they're coming back downstairs after the bath. There they are. Hello, I heard you crying up there. <gasps> you all better now. Oh, no. no. Mad. Tired. Tired and mad. Let's have a bottle in the bed. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And that was relatively quick and painless. Got Ellis's bottle. He almost immediately passed out. Like, just laying back on his little boppy over here, he completely zonked out asleep quick. So he was super tired because he didn't take a nap tonight, so he's just been up and going the entire time. And I'm going to go ahead and wrap things up there for tonight because I'm, I'm having so much trouble talking because of this nose problem. So thank you guys, as always, for watching. Hopefully you had a wonderful day. Even though I, I was here with Duncan and normally that keeps me from getting a whole lot done, because he slept so much of the day, I was able to get a lot of my day job work done at least. So that's pretty good. If all goes well, he'll be going back to school tomorrow, so I'll be going back to everyday normal life. Hopefully be able to make some videos. I've got some stuff on the backlog I can definitely go ahead and just edit and upload, so that's good stuff. But we'll see what happens when it happens. We'll see you tomorrow.